In sports, as in everything else, in order to achieve success, those who are given the opportunity to lead and to manage must be people who are really, really capable. They have the experience and the knowledge. And then they have to make sure that they completely dedicate themselves to achieving the target. And if they cannot achieve that, then on their own, they must step down and let others take over. That is the only we can, way we can keep on improving. I've seen situations where school teams, club teams, state teams used to do very well. And because I was directly involved in many ways, so I'm very aware of how sportsmen in this country at one time could achieve the highest targets. And many people don't realize this. The, the period of the emergency was the period when sports in this country really achieved fantastic results. Unlike in many other countries, when wars broke out, people had no time for sports. But we were not like that. And the British brought soldiers in from various British or from various countries in the British Empire, and many of them were such outstanding sportsmen. So the people here were so happy to see Africans running, Fijians playing rugby. British soldiers playing football and they had no time for the communists because of that.